Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at Rafah Palace a number of members from the Council of Representatives which comes within the framework of meetings that strengthen cooperation between the executive and legislative authorities. His Royal Highness affirmed that the partnership between the government and the Representatives Council is inevitable and highlighted the shared goals and priorities which is serving the country and its people. He also stressed the support of cooperation and reinforcing the supervisory and legislative roles of the Council. His Royal Highness affirmed the keenness to achieve what the members put forward because they represent the aspirations of the people. The Council of Representatives members affirmed that His Royal Highness is a model of national action and leaders of the country's development. The Prime Minister affirmed the support of the citizens' housing, health and education needs and hailed the members' efforts in cooperating with the government. His Royal Highness noted that the members represent the people and their aspirations, adding that they will be included in the government's programs and projects. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister affirmed the importance of constantly developing government parliamentary cooperation for the benefit of the country. His Royal Highness stressed the continuity of a development in various areas of the kingdom and in various fields and noted the government's success in creating a service system in a safe and stable environment. He also noted that all projects are subject to continuous follow-up to ensure that the relevant bodies comply with the timetable for their implementation. The Prime Minister reviewed with the members the needs of a number of regions of the Kingdom and the requirements of its citizens to develop facilities and expand services. The members of the Council of Representatives expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness for his support of the parliamentary governmental cooperation, stressing that His Royal Highness is a role model for the country and its people. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Chairman of the Bahrain Olympic Committee and Honorary President of Bahrain Royal Equestrian Endurance Federation, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa honored the winner of His Majesty the King's International Endurance Race for Youth, the Emirati rider Saif Jum'a Bel Jafla. His Highness Sheikh Nasser congratulated the top three winners hailing their performance during the race. He asserted that the Festival of the Cup of of His Majesty the King, International's Endurance Day's race is one of the main events for the sport during the Bahraini season, adding that the race is one of the most distinguished championships in the season. His Highness noted that the race during this season will witness strong competition with all the participant writers who are aware of the importance of winning the title. He added that the competition witnesses the participation of the best riders in local Emirati and GCC stables to win the title with the support of His Majesty the King. سمو الشيخ ناصر مبارك لك بهالمناسبة الكبيرة حققت الحلم والسباق القيم لثلاثة أيام الحمد لله التنظيم كان جدا ممتاز من ناحية تنظيمية النتيجة كانت ممتازة ولو أننا يعني صادتنا بعض الظروف لكن عوضناها بالمركز الثاني والثالث ونبارك طبعا لأخوانا من دولة الإمارات طول عمر فيكتوريوس كالعادة على المنصة المركزين الثاني والثالث وهذه تدريباتك وتوجيهاتك هل من مفاجآت في يوم الجمعة والسبت إن شاء الله؟ والله ما ندري اليوم تفاجأنا اليوم كان عندنا رزام المفروض أنه كان يسبق ببعيد كان يعني أنا أعطي على الأقل على الأقل يكون ربع ساعة أمام في الصدارة لكنه ما الله وفق اليوم بسبة العرج 
لكن مركز الثاني والثالث بعد منصة باسم كاس جلالة الملك هذا فخر بحد ذاته آه نطمح إن شاء الله لسباق آه ناجح للاستبلات الخاصة بكرة ونطمح إن شاء الله أن لأول سباق 160 على مرحلة واحدة كاملة آه يكون يعني على قد اسمه ونطلب من الله ان شاء الله ان الجو يساعدنا هاليومين الجايات لان اتوقع انها بتكون يعني فيها اهويه قويه والله يكون ان شاء الله في العون. The Legal and Legislative Affairs the Ministerial Committee held a meeting chaired by Deputy Prime Minister and Chairman of the Committee Jawad bin Salam Al Arayid. In the presence of ministers, the committee reviewed a number of draft laws and decisions prepared by the government and took recommendations on them to submit them to the cabinet. It also discussed a number of proposals submitted to the government by the Council of Representatives and prepared a draft of the government's response to them and decided to submit them to the cabinet as well as the committee's opinion on some topics referred to it from different ministries. The Minister of Interior, General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, attended today the ceremony organized by the General Directorate for Civil Defense on the occasion of the World Civil Defense Day in the presence of a number of senior officials at the Ministry of Interior and the public and private sectors as well as members of the delegations participating in the Second International Fire Operations Conference held in the Kingdom. The Minister hailed the efforts and sacrifices made by civil defense personnel in the field of saving lives and property and maintaining public safety. He expressed pride in their professionalism, responsivism and commitment to the highest levels of readiness. He noted that this outstanding performance reflects the civil defense officer's sense of national responsibility, noting the importance of exerting further efforts to develop the civil defense and keep pace with the urban expansion in the kingdom. For his part, the Deputy Director General of the Civil Defense Directorate delivered a speech in which he expressed thanks and appreciation for the support of the Minister of Interior to Civil Defense to keep pace with the or with all the updates in the field. He added that the General Directorate for Civil Defense is working on activating the slogan of the World Civil Defense Day, Safety of Children is Our Responsibility, through many activities to raise awareness on the concept of civil defense for all segments of society. He added that as part of the civil defense duties and the nature of incidents that are dealt with, the Firefighter Challenge Championship was organized. At the end of the ceremony, the minister honored a number of civil defense partners as well as a number of civil defense officers and members who provided excellent services in the fields of rescue and firefighting. The minister expressed thanks and appreciation for their efforts, wishing them all further success.
Under the patronage of the Vice President and Prime Minister of the UAE and ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, the GESS Dubai Education Exhibition and Conference was held. With the participation of officials from 40 countries and 200 institutions specialized in education from around the world. The Minister of Education, Dr. Majid bin Ali Naimi, presented a paper at the opening session in which he pointed out the challenges facing education. He stressed the need to introduce students to the requirements of the future and prepare them for its demands, which requires a shift in teaching methods. The minister spoke about the pillars of inspirational education and highlighted enabled education that aims at establishing patriotism, achieving active participation, improving performance, and increasing productivity. He also called on participants in the forum to discuss many issues related to teachers and learners. The Minister of Information Affairs, Ali bin Mohammed Ramehi, met with his Saudi counterpart, Turkey bin Abdullah al Shabana, on the sidelines of his participation in the media forum organized by the Prince Mohammed bin Salman al Saud Foundation at the Saudi capital, Riyadh. During the meeting, Ramehi stressed that Bahrain will always stand firm and steadfast in supporting Saudi Arabia in the face of the media campaign against it and all the measures taken to preserve its security, stability and national sovereignty under the wise leadership of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz al Saud of Saudi Arabia and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Defense, Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdulaziz al Saud. He stressed that the desperate attempts to undermine the high status and leading role of Saudi Arabia is doomed to failure in light of the loyalty of the Saudi people to their leadership, noting that Saudi Arabia's balanced peace-promoting and terrorism-rejecting media policies make it impervious to those uh, tenacious or tenacious attempts. Uh, the minister also noted that the uh, suspicious media campaign against Saudi Arabia demonstrates the motives of those who run it proving beyond any doubt that Saudi Arabia is on the right path in defending religion and protecting the assets of the Arab and Islamic nations. The Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs, Ayman bin Tawfiq al uh, received uh, the Commander-in-Chief of Abu Dhabi Police and a member of the Executive Council, Major General Mohammed Khalfan al-Rumethi, at Bahrain International Airport upon his arrival to the Kingdom and uh, the accompanying delegation. The Minister conveyed the greetings and appreciation of His Majesty the King's Representative for Charity Work and Youth Affairs Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad al-Khalifa, and praised the brotherly ties and cooperation between the two countries in all fields in accordance with the vision of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the President of the United Arab Emirates, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan. For his part, Major General Mohammed Al Rumethi affirmed the keenness of the UAE to build strong youth and sports relations with Bahrain based on exchanging visits and successful experiences in various fields. Under the patronage of the wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, Her Royal Highness Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, the Kingdom of Bahrain will host the fourth edition of Bahrain's International Art Fair 
Art Bab from March 6th until 10th. At a press conference, the head of Her Royal Highness's office, Sheikh Maram bint Isa Al Khalifa, affirmed that this year's exhibition will focus on the rich artistic heritage of Bahrain and offers uh, visitors a unique experience through the virtual reality corner. She also added that it will showcase new international art trends. For her part, the director of the art fair, Kanika Shabharwal, noted that the current session of the exhibition will present a unique blend of Bahraini art and the evolving trends of art around the world. It is a new platform that comes to complete the efforts of all the organizations who have been supporting artists over the years. We noticed that uh, there was a need for further exposure of Bahraini talent uh, to the world uh, abroad and also to bring talent from uh, different countries of the world into Bahrain. And for that purpose, we created this new platform called Art Bahrain Across Borders, which now is an it's considered an international art fair, hosting Bahraini artists and foreign artists alike, Bahraini galleries and foreign galleries alike. So it's just a new platform to continue to boost Bahraini art and expose it further as it deserves to be exposed. Art Bab is something I created in 2015, Art Bahrain Across Borders. Uh, it was a concept, it was a study of uh, my study of Bahrain and the artists. And I'm very proud to see where it has reached today. Uh, Bahrain has the largest database of practicing uh, artists and uh, even larger database of emerging artists. Um, these artists have been exploring themselves and needed a communication platform. Or the idea with the fair is for able to communicate uh, our artisanal strength as Bahrain to the global art community. This is uh, the moment that every artist in Bahrain and the GCC and it is, it is an international fair that attracts everybody. Everybody is eager to participate uh, in it because it provides a great platform to share experiences and to show the art of Bahrainis to the world. The Bangkok Gems and Jewelry Fair is being held on a biannual basis for its remarkable advantages on the country's business and tourism sectors. More in this report with Mohamed Youssef. The Thailand's Department of International Trade Promotion of the Ministry of Commerce organized the 63rd edition of the Bangkok Gems and Jewelry Fair under the theme Thailand's Magic Hands, which highlights the country's cultural heritage and the exquisite craftsmanship of Thai artisans. I'm sure about the own technique uh, setting. Okay, this is, uh, this is very, very own uh, about the setting stone because it, the new generation it, it cannot set like it anymore. That did very very diff difficult, right? So I uh, now I try to to teach the young people to know how about the setting. Thailand is an internationally renowned to become the jewelry hub, serving the global gem and jewelry trade. The fair succeeded in attracting 900 companies divided into 2,200 pavilions, each presenting their own businesses and unique projects. This is the projects under the government and we are assigned to responsible for this project to develop the, the industry, the gems and jewelry industry in the provinces. And we kick off this project since 2017. We select those 15 provinces that have the ability or have the story about gems and jewelry. We doing the manufacturing and cutting and selling the Colombian emerald and this is uh, our base in Thailand, so we have to join to the show to support the association. The business is very good uh, for James Pavilion here in, Th in Thailand, and uh, we also exhibit in, in Hong Kong and especially Bahrain. I, we come to Bahrain every year, and people there is very nice, and they, they, they feel like we are relatives. And, and we feel comfortable to sell everything to, to them. Um, we part with the Thai mall. We are do the shopping mall in Bahrain, uh, in the Diyad Muharraq area. So it's going to expect to open in very soon in the Ju uh, July. 
The event also attracts lots of enthusiasts and people who are keen on following up on the gems and jewelry industry. The fair attracted approximately around 20,000 visitors from 130 countries this year. Actually, I have been invited by the Thai embassy and uh, I am honored to visit this exhibition for the first time. Uh, honestly, we are uh, working with many suppliers in, around the world and uh, Thailand is one of the, of the well-known in the manufacturing of diamonds. They have very clean hand and compared to other countries they are good. I think it's a very important uh, event for the city and for the all international community of stones and jewelry. Um, it's very beautiful event, the people, it's very receptive. The fair is not stopping here. It will be held again on September and is expected to attract an even larger number. The Bangkok Gems and Jewelry Fair is an important platform for Thai entrepreneurs as well as small and medium-sized enterprises to expand their business into the global market. Reporting for Bahrain International, I am Hamad Youssef.